With Linux Mint version 20 expected in June of 2020, I started planning for the upgrade by installing a fresh copy of Linux Mint 18.1 onto a virtual machine and set it up as a replica of my current system. I changed the theme and copied some icons over to the new system, then switched to the new icons I just installed. Might as well get as real as I can. Here you can see the change. I even did the menu button icon. I copied the config files for LibreOffice, Firefox, Cairo Doc and Compiz as they were the main focus. Let's start with LibreOffice. Here you can see LibreOffice not correcting my spelling or special words. I deleted the LibreOffice folder and replaced with the one from my current system. And it's now recognising my capitalisations, punctuations and special words as I want it to. Next was Firefox. Here is the default view when started for the first time. Notice no add-ons or bookmarks. Here in the file manager you can see the two default profiles it created. I'll now paste my current profile into the Firefox folder on the new system. It's several hundred megabytes in size. I restarted Firefox and typed about colon profiles into the URL bar and hit enter. We create a new profile and browse to the folder that we just copied with our old profile in it. When finished, we go back and delete one of the other profiles. Restart Firefox and presto, all my bookmarks and add-ons. Even a stored account login. Cairo Doc next. See how it looks on the first run until I change the theme to my stored one. That would have taken me a long time to do by hand. And finally, comp is. I activate it in the settings. Start the comp is configuration settings manager and import my settings for instant changes. Hours of time saved here also. Now I had a replica of my system ready for the attempt to try it on the later 19.3 system. As Linux Mint 20 is not out yet, this was the best I could do at the moment. Here's the Linux Mint 19.3 welcome screen. All the files and profiles already copied into the downloads directory. Again, let's start with LibreOffice by deleting the current profile folder and pasting ours back in. Our test words seem to be working. We start Firefox, no add-ons or bookmarks. Here are the two default profiles in the file manager. We copy and paste into the Firefox folder. Start Firefox and type about colon profiles into the URL. Create a new profile and choose the folder we just copied over. Remove one of the default ones. Shut it down and restart. Presto again. Cairo Doc next, we run it. It looks bland. The themes load shortly and we browse to our theme in the downloads directory. Here I forgot to do the icons on the system first, so let's do them and then restart Cairo.
much better. I'd already discovered Compiz doesn't work due to different versions, so I have to do that by hand. Warning, the screen's about to start flashing because this is what happened when it failed. I had cloned the previous virtual machine, so this one's identical. This example, I copied the whole slash home from the old system to the new one, including all the hidden files. So press Ctrl H to show them first. So I'm going to select them all. This worked amazingly well and only took a few minutes. And we're going to copy. I'm going to paste them into our home folder. Notice the desktop folder is not included and has the folder with all the old home files and folders in it. I'm going to tick the little box and say merge. I'm going to tick the little box again and say replace. You can see the wallpaper change to the old one under the file operations progress box. An unintended consequence of this process. I changed the icon theme in the control center as the new icons were part of the files and folders copied from the old system. And test LibreOffice again with my special words. Firefox starts with my profile active right off the bat. Awesome. And Cairo Doc follows suit. How easy was that? No point testing Compiz as I know it doesn't work. This only took about five minutes, the quickest and easiest method thus far. Spurred on by my relative success, I tried another experiment. This time I installed 18.1 that split the home directory into a separate partition from the system itself. Then installed 19.3 over the top without formatting the home partition. Upon reboot, 19.3 wouldn't load beyond the login screen once I entered my password. It didn't seem to like the older system files in the home directory, I guess. Your stored personalised dictionary is in the wordbook folder of LibreOffice. If you drill down a few layers, you'll find a file called standard.dic. If the Mozilla folder isn't present in your home directory, it means that Firefox hasn't been started yet. So start it first for the folder to turn up. The links in the description below the video are for LibreOffice and Firefox. So if you're using other apps, then search on the internet for the profile location of your app name in Linux. What do you do when upgrade time comes? Do you have a better method? Let me know down below if so.